Today, Ronita and I are doing a broker open house tour. We teamed up with other agents who also have listings in the neighborhood. We have a listing on 404 Park Avenue South. We're organizing a broker's tour. How many apartments on the tour? We're picking about five or six apartments to put together. That sounds like a great idea. Everything looks great. We're doing this for people to see what's on the market within the same price range, around the same location, and then see ours. It actually does us a favor because we are better than any other apartment within that price range, right. within that neighborhood. Okay. People may think that this apartment is priced high, but when they get to see every other apartment that has the same bedroom count within the same location, then they will understand that our price is just right. Why are we at the last stop? Because the beauty is in the exit. We saved Always the best teaching you. for last. Always. Look you. What I found. Beautiful, beautiful. So the caterers, Yes. Instead of 30th Street, somebody had really bad handwriting. It wasn't Victoria, so we can't blame her. Thank God. But somebody wrote an eight, so they went to 80th Street. They're on their way back. Why? I don't know. Somebody wrote a really sloppy three. It looked Who's like somebody? an eight. I don't know. This is a tour. People are seeing different apartments back to back to back. So the idea was that when they arrive to ours, they have a phenomenal lunch served ready for them because they're hungry and you want to make sure that they're fed and then they stay longer. Well, but are we going to get the catering before people start arriving? There's 50 streets. I know. And there's a lot of traffic. Well, then we give people, a, you know, a, a, the long tour of the apartment, and then we tell yeah, them lunch is on the way. Yeah, but I don't want the caterers way. coming in while people are touring the Some apartment. Of these I want the food I can't to be control, here. Louise. This wasn't my fault. It's not about whose fault is it. It could be my fault for all I care. What needs to happen what is that What do you want me to do about it now? It's over. It's happening. We fixed it. They're on their way. I was just letting you know. If somebody made a mistake, Ronit, we... I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm trying to be efficient. I feel like you're arguing with me. I'm not. Okay. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Let's chat. What do you mean, let's chat? Let's chat. Sit. What's bothering you? I don't know. I just feel like you took over, and I didn't really get much of a word in. And I know it probably wasn't intentional. You're used to taking the lead and me running around for you, but I think my role has now evolved. And I maintained the brand while you were gone. I kept your name alive. If I didn't do any of that, you'd have to come back and you know start from scratch. OK. I respect that. You know, it's, it's incredible. Everything is all about perspective. I thought this was going perfectly. And listen, I totally respect the fact that I got to where I was because of you. But what's the point of being here if I'm not going to add value? Well, I hear you. You know, I get on my zone. This is who I am. Maybe we do things a little differently now. But it requires for you to step up a little bit more so that I can see you know, the new value that you bring to the table. Just remember, it's been two years. I understand. On my own. I understand. When you left, I was here working my ass off. Well, I thank you for that. Um, but I do still see you as my assistant. You know, you were my assistant for so long. So 100%, I will make an effort to, to see you differently, because you've earned it. And I will make sure that my presence is known. Yeah. Ooh. He does still look at me, I think, as his assistant. Um, and in the same respect, you know, he came back and I kind of look to him somewhat as like a boss and a mentor and, you know, somebody that I have to double check with about everything. But we both need to realize that things have changed. I don't need to doubt myself anymore. I need to make decisions on my own. I'm ready to be his partner. Now, can you get me some water? I will get you anything you want. Sparkling with ice. So I went on this pitch today. Beautiful building, three huge apartments, really cool. And? He said he would give it to me on a contingency. He's got a 200 unit rental building in Harlem. And this is a bad thing? I don't do rentals. I haven't made a decision yet. I told him I had to think about it. It's 200 rentals, not 200 condos. It's different. How is it different? The pay is different. Brokers don't like doing rental business because it's the same amount of work for a lot less money. Like, if you have to dig for gold or dig for copper and you have to do the manual labor and it's the same, wouldn't you dig for gold? You're taking 
monthly rent commissions instead of monthly sale commissions. But you do rentals when you're a new broker, your new agent, because no one's gonna trust you as a new agent to sell their five million or fifty million dollar place, but they'll trust you to help their daughter find a two thousand dollar a month apartment, and that's where you start. Then once you get into sales, you don't want to go backwards. You know how I always say, success begets success. Everything's about what you're known for. You want to keep putting out the kind of business that you want to get in. If I put out there that I do rental buildings, then I'll have to do more rental buildings. More business? It's not just more business, Puff Munchkin. It's 200 units that I have to fully staff. I have to run the admin for, marketing, everything. Puffer. What? Do you want 41 Great Jones? Yeah, of course I want 41 Great Jones. And that's how you're going to get it. I don't get where the problem is. I'm lost on the problem. I don't think you should be thinking about this anymore. Get to work. OK. I have to go to sleep so I can wake up and rent 200 apartments in Harlem. Well, now, I mean. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You're being dramatic. I'm not being dramatic. On, There's just I... not as much space for me anymore. Good night. Come to third floor. OK. David? Wow. Oh, my great Jones. Hey. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. How high is the ceiling? 23 feet, I believe. Wow. Pretty incredible. This is the middle unit. This is a duplex. And then there's a penthouse, which is a duplex. And then there's a triplex on the lower level. Each apartment's about 4,500 feet. So okay. go big or go home. Those are big homes. How expensive is this staircase? Over $100,000. It's beautiful. It's really, really cool. This building is done really well. Every master bedroom has a patio and an sure. outdoor space. Amazing ceilings, gorgeous wide plank wood floors, fireplaces, huge windows. And when I developed it, I wanted it to be an apartment I would live in. We wanted that Soho kind of feel. I live down here, and I like that. Is that the fire engine that's right outside? That is the fire engine across the street. Got yeah. it. I mean, uh, I definitely hear it. But listen, what kind of better fire protection do you need? They don't even have to use the truck. They could just open up their window and be like, yo, you on fire? You want a latte or you want a? You know where it is better than me. I was waiting me. for you to see to open something. Yeah, where is it again in here? Well, it's hard. I mean, I am used to having security and not having a paycheck, it's stressful. You're being too hard on yourself. I think you have to give it a little time. I think you want things to happen like yeah, that. Yeah, like instant in, gratification. Yeah, and, and this job isn't about that. It, the market, it's hard for everybody, but I am the leader of this team, so it's my job, it's my responsibility to keep everyone's spirits up and keep them motivated and happy. Look, I wouldn't have put you in this position if I didn't know you were gonna succeed. I'm so not concerned about it, I wanted to actually talk to you about a listing to take on. OK, tell me more. Well, you know where I've been living for a while and renting from Dan? Yeah, of course. I think you should take over that listing for me. I actually love this listing. I mean, after all, I wouldn't live in it if I didn't like it. But I have so much on my plate now. And because it's a lower price listing, it makes sense to let her take charge of this to boost her confidence by giving her something to really sink her teeth into. I want you to succeed. And I think this is a great opportunity. OK, cool. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. How excited? Really excited. Thank you. All right, AJ. Hold on, sorry. I feel like we need to lay out some ground rules because I would be the broker and you would technically be the tenant. So maybe try not to take advantage of like, oh, Jess is showing it. Maybe she can make the bed I forgot to make this morning or walk Pablo. I won't take advantage of that. Okay, fair. But if we did mm, have but a list... Like, I'm asking not to take advantage of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, agent, now. Get to work, get I know I work. got it. Hey guys. Subscribe if you like the video. Click here to watch more.